Hello, we are the 2020 Visioneers, and we are at T20. When you land here, you have our three features. We have our Love Compatibility Calculator, we have our Fortune Cookie, and then we also have our Palm Reading. Up here we have our menu, where you can navigate between these three features, and then we also have a link to our GitHub right here. We also have a button that will randomly pick one of our uh, features for you. This is the uh, Love Compatibility tool, which uses uh, two zodiac signs to determine the love compatibility of two people. And so you can spin either wheels by scrolling up and down, or you can click and drag to rotate it. And this displays your birthday. So if your birthday falls within this range, this is your sign. So let's say that person A is Sagittarius and person B is uh, Scorpio. So when these are selected, you can press find out and that will display some love compatibility results. If you want to compute another zodiac pairing, you can do so by clicking the go back button and by picking another configuration. Okay, so this is the palm reading app and it first asks you to give it webcam permissions. So by clicking begin, so I click allow. And then now you can hold your hand up to the camera or your webcam and I'll start detecting your heart rate. After that, it'll show you some results about certain lines on your hand, like what the heart line means. And then there's a button to read another hand. This is the Our Fortune Cookie app. And uh, when you first land on this page, you'll be greeted by the title and uh, little quote. So the point of this is when you click the image of the fortune cookie or the button below. True love sees no boundaries. Embrace cultural diversity in college and let love bridge the gaps. And that is your fortune for the day. If you want to crack another one, you can click on the new cookie button. And uh, for our app, we made a little speech synthesis. So if you want to, there is an option to disable the voice if you don't want to like make a scene of yourself in public. One of the biggest challenges we faced was figuring out our progress within the sprint. Uh, because we split our group into four subgroups, each one working on one sub app, um, it was kind of hard to gauge how far each group was in the development process because everyone was sort of, or each group was sort of in their own window. Um, and so we didn't really know how far we were in in, the, in development until we merged everything at the very end. Um, and so if we ever had a lot of work left to do after that point, we kind of panicked until the deadline. So some things we overcame in this project was the building the CI/CD pipeline and getting it functional. Yeah, my phone was making no sense. So this was a big accomplishment for us. We also overcame making animations and we learned how to write test cases for our um, code. So what we would do differently next time? One issue that we came across was uh, procrastination, which always strikes us. Since much of our development happened in the last week or two, which was after our first sprint ended, we could have used our first sprint a bit more efficiently. Ideally, we would start early, start often. One piece of advice I would give to uh, students taking this project in the future would definitely just be to stay on, cap stay on top of communication with your team and communicate early, communicate often. If you listen to that, this course can be really fun.